guys, it's Kiki and today I'm going to be doing my updated what's in my pencil case video. So this is for 2020 and I think that my pencil case is a lot more minimalist than it was before and through this video I hope you can get a good idea of what I bring to school and the materials that I always use. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. First off, I bring two pencil cases to school. So the two pencil cases I bring are the Muji stand-up pencil case as well as this brown colored pencil case. Um, I just got it from any random shop in Japan. And the other two are the pencil cases in which I keep the pens and highlighters that I swap out every week. To start off with, the main pencil case that I use is this one I got from Muji. So it's supposed to be a glasses case and it's made out of plastic and it's translucent, but I use it to keep all my pens and stationery that I use every day. The first item in my pencil case is the Pentel Energel and of course this is included. It's my most favorite pen. It's the best pen that I've ever used just because it doesn't smudge and it's so so smooth. So the one that I'm currently using the most is the Pentel Energel in the size 0.4 and I think this is the perfect width for me because I use grid paper so having a thin one to to write with is really helpful but it's not too thin or too thick and it's right in between so I would really recommend the 0.4. The next pen that I have is the Energize Pencil. So this is basically from Pentel as well and it's the mechanical pencil version of the Energel. So you may have seen this in my Japan stationery haul video but if you haven't seen that yet I'll link it up in the cards. Anyways this is basically the pencil version and this is not the best mechanical pencil I've ever used but it's not really that bad and it matches with my pen that's why I like to keep it in my pencil case. The next two pens are just two black pens so I like to keep um, a couple different black pens in my pencil case just so I can switch them up from time to time um, depending on how I feel but these actual pens I actually swap them out every week I'll go more in depth later on in the video but the first black pen I have is this blend zebra blend in the size 0.7 so this is basically a ballpoint pen that is designed to not strain your hands. So whenever I'm taking thorough notes or I'm just taking quick notes in class, I will usually use this pen. The next pen that I have is the Pilot Juice Up in the size 0.4. So you may have heard of the Pilot Juice pens, but this is basically an even smoother version. So it's really, really smooth and I actually really fell in love with this pen when I got it this year, which is also in my stationery haul video. Um, I actually got a couple refills of this, that's why I use this a lot, just because I know that I have the refills for this. So I would definitely recommend this pen if you're looking for a smooth pen. The next pen that I have is the Friction Rub Out Red Pen from Muji. So this is not the Pilot Friction ones, it's basically the same concept, but the ink in this is so much better than the Pilot ones. So if you want a rub out pen or erasable pen, I would definitely recommend this over the Pilot one. And having a red pen is essential for me, Just and it's just so much easier to mark things and to lay out things, so I would definitely recommend this one. The next pen that I have is the Muji Gel Ink Pen in the size 0.5 and for this week I actually had the blue colour scheme so I basically change up the colours every single week so when I look through my notes I can clearly see where every different week is. I explain this more in depth later on in the video but basically just for this week I had the light blue. The next two items are of course mild liners. So these colors match the blue pen from earlier and I just have the light blue and the darker blue and I also change this up every week. 
and I absolutely love the matte liners. The color range is so huge and the colors are so, so beautiful. So I would definitely recommend this if you just want a larger color range. But if you're looking for more good quality highlighters, I recommend the Uni Window Highlighters. And I talked more about this in my stationery haul as well. So make sure to check that out at the end of the video. And next, of course, I have the grey one of the matte liners, and I don't switch this one out because it obviously matches with every colour. And I really love having a grey pen so I can highlight the things that are the key information. And of course, I have to have white out in this. And you may notice that I only have white out for pens and I don't have the eraser for the pencil. That's because the eraser doesn't actually fit in this. That's probably the main reason why I carry another pencil case. And you'll see my eraser later on in the video. And finally, I have to keep a pack of sticky notes. This is probably the most important thing in my pencil case, just because I can stay so organized using these sticky notes. Basically, how I use these sticky notes is that whenever I write notes that I need to um, rewrite later on in the day, I will put the sticky notes for this. And if you want to find out more about rewriting notes and things, you can check out my note taking video. I think I explained more in depth on that so I'll link that up in the cards. The next pencil case is this brownish beige colored pencil case and I just got this from Seria which is a Japanese dollar store. Um, I think this is a perfect size because it's just so compact and I can fit in all my essentials in it. The first item that I have is this black pen from Muji and it's just got a bullet tip and a fine tip on the other side and if you know anything about my note taking you know that I always use this pen for note taking. The next item is of course a pair of scissors. So I just have this purple pair of scissors and it's basically in a pen shape so you can save space and it's really cute as well. And I've had this for so long now and it's lasted all the way through. So I would definitely recommend investing in a pair of scissors like this. Of course it's a li little more pricey than normal scissors but it's so worth it because it's just so compact and it saves so much space. Space. The next item that I have is glue tape. So I don't think this is really a necessity, but I like to have this um, when I use washi tape or if there's like little bits that are falling off some things. Um, it's just really helpful sometimes, so I like to keep this in my pencil case. The next item is just stick glue. So I've had this glue for so long just because I don't use glue that much, but it's definitely helpful to have this. And I actually use this a lot more than the glue tape. The next item is of course an eraser. So the eraser that I use is the Sakura Foam Arch Eraser. This is the best rubber I've ever used and I would recommend this so much because I used to use the mono erasers but they tore up a lot and I couldn't use them for a long time. But this just, it, this never breaks, it's so useful and it rubs out really well. The next seven items are the Uni Window Purpose Highlighters. So these are the highlighters that I was talking about earlier. And this is probably the best highlighters ever because they are just so smooth. They're the best quality I've ever used and they have a window so you can see exactly what you are highlighting. The only reason why I don't use this and I use the matte liners is because I don't have that many colors of this. These are the only Uni Purpose Highlighters that I have but they've increased the range by so much in the last year or something and I'm definitely going to be stocking up on them when I go back to Japan but this, these are the highlighters I would definitely recommend and they have really beautiful colors as well. The next item is this non-slip ruler and it basically has this foam thing I think um, on the other on the back so it doesn't slip and it actually works as a non-slip so I would actually really recommend this. This is probably my favorite ruler that I've ever used. The next 
next pencil case is this pink stand-up pencil case and this just has all my mild liners and my Muji pens in them so I always swap out the colors every single week so as you can see um, the colors match up with each other so I have like the darker pink with the darker pink pen and I will swap out the colors every single week and I usually swap them out with um, in the order dark pink then pink then orange then light green then dark green then blue then purple and it will cycle again and this just really helps me in not only staying organized but motivation it gives me so much motivation just because I love mild liners and I love the colors so switching them out every week ensures that I don't get bored of them the next pencil case is this Chippendale pencil case and if you've seen my previous what's in my pencil case video you will recognize this. I used this all of last year but since I got the new pencil cases I decided to use this to just keep all my black pens in. Well they're obviously not all my black pens just because I own so many but these are the main black pens that I use. So I always swap out my black pens every week to also give me motivation and it's really really fun to do this um, so usually I will have one ballpoint pen and then one um, gel ink pen but I can sometimes have three different black pens in my pencil case excluding the Energel one so basically I would just have four black pens and I know that's very useless but it's really really helpful in um, in helping me stay motivated especially in class and when I'm studying so if you happen to have lots of black pens you don't always have to keep all of them in your pencil case you can actually swap them out every week that way you can enjoy all your black pens without carrying everything so I really really hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed filming this. I absolutely love stationery and if you do as well I have so many videos on stationery so make sure to check them out. I'll leave a playlist up above um, that has all my stationery videos and make sure to check out my stationery haul videos and also my note taking videos. Thank you to everybody that supports me, not only in the comments, but just watching my videos. It means so, so much to me. I cannot thank you guys enough. If you like this video, consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, or if you have any videos that you would like to see next time on my channel, um, comment down below and I will try to get around to all those videos. Bye guys, see you next time.